The Miami Dolphins are a broken record. My bitching about them is a broken record. And it's not for a year or two. And people talk about it for like a decade. No, it's like 20 years they've been mediocre. Even in the Marino years, they didn't win. They went to one AFC Championship, maybe two AFC Championship games in my lifetime. And the rest were average seasons. Not winning is mediocre. The Miami Dolphins have embraced mediocre. And all year long, every one, at least once a week or twice a week, I'll bitch about the Dolphins. And I'm sick of it. And I think you're sick of it. Aren't we just sick of complaining and fighting? Because it's to the point where Dolphins fans, and I said this a couple weeks ago, are fighting with one another. Who's to blame? They're all to blame. They're all to blame. There's three guys on the team you keep, and they all could go. This is it. Jarvis Landry, Ndama Gang Su, and Rashad Jones. Those are three guys that will probably, probably be pro bowlers. The rest of them won't be anything. They don't deserve to be on a team. Linebacking core is abysmal. Safety, bad. Uh, corners, including Brent Grimes, bad. Defensive lines, the defensive line actually is not that bad. Uh, the offensive staff, the, the offensive line, they need so much depth. The running backs, I'm sorry, Lamar Miller, you're a nice running back. You're not worth big money. What Lamar Miller can do, about 20 guys coming out in the draft can do. Oh, a big hole. Let me run fast through it. Okay, you know how many guys in South Florida high schools can do that? There's three guys on the team worth keeping. And look, it's not Campbell's fault. It might not even be Tannenbaum's fault. But here's the deal. We need solutions now. We need guys that can fix it. And that's Stephen Ross's problem. People want continuity and stability. He's giving you that. He's the most loyal guy in all of sports. He gave you four years of Sperano, who we knew he was bad after one. Even when they won that year, we knew it was Sperano. It was luckily getting Chad Pennington. And four years of Philbin, who we knew after two years. And we've now had four years of Tannehill. Well, if Tannehill has one offensive coordinator, know why they've changed the offensive coordinators? Because of Tannehill. He was so bad, instead of blaming Tannehill, they blame the coordinators. These are all guys that knew football. But Tannehill's our guy. We got to protect him. Why? That's been the big problem with Ryan Tannehill is we coddle him and we protect him. Look, not every quarterback is leader, leader guy. But the ones that win are Aaron Rodgers may be a calm, cool guy. When he's around his teammates, he's leading them. Tom Brady's leading them. Peyton Manning. Even Eli Manning on big drives is leading them. This was a crazy stat that scared the crap out of me. Jameis Winston. Yes, my Jameis Winston is a rookie. At last Thursday, the beginning of the game was in his, what, 10th game? 11th game? And you know what? James Winston, in his first 11 games, had three comeback victories. And in that game, brought them back from 28, from 17 to 21 points down to almost win. Ryan Tannehill in four years, can you think of one time doing that? One? He can't bring them back when they're down by a touchdown. So it's not just one guy's fault. It's a lot of people's fault. And if they win, that doesn't get fixed. If they finish 8-8, it doesn't get fixed. You know what fixes it? When you're 5-11. and 11. So I don't root for my team to lose for draft positioning because they don't draft well. I want them to lose so that they can blow it up top down. The winning organizations have one guy who picks his head coach. And that head coach picks his staff. And then that staff and the personnel guy work together to pick a team. That's what works. Not a Donna Ponte and Mike Tannenbaum and then a head coach. And then you get rid of the coach, but you keep the GM. Get rid of the GM, but you keep the new coach. That doesn't work. Stephen Ross, I don't care where the hell you live. You got to get one plan and one mindset. And the Dolphins haven't had that for my entire life. It's time to change that. This is The Loop Tube.